I worked on these pieces over the last uh, maybe two and a half years and I started out uh, with an idea to do work about famous walls around the world. Berlin Wall, the Great Wall of China, the Atlantic Wall that the Germans built to keep us from invading Europe. And um, after about a dozen of those, which you know, was kind of interesting, I thought, well, I'm getting a little walled in by this and confined. So um, I started to just let things happen and, and to be open. And I like to work with materials, different materials, rocks and uh, tar paper, Xeroxes, paper bags, and whatever comes along that seems to have some interest to it. And then I let, let the story or the painting develop from that. The, uh, the writing comes from a Danish um, modern painter named Per Kerkeby. And it's really where the title for my show comes from, a, 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 a series that is not a series. He says that a series is always a dangerous thing. That you get locked into something, it becomes relentless, boring, repetitive, all the things you can think of that make us be crazy. I'm obsessed about this. It's almost like everything I try to buy or need to buy turns out to have been made in China, including this panel. And I was so sure, you know, that I was getting a good deal when I, when I bought these. And when I unwrapped them, I found out that they were not what I thought they would be. So, I will not name the company. Okay. Okay. This one refers to William Kentridge's work, another fabulous contemporary artist. And uh, he has done work with this phrase, I am not me, the horse is not mine. And it's like the classic denial of a Russian peasant. You know, I don't know anything about this. Uh, taxes, nothing. It just didn't happen on my watch. So to make this piece, I just arbitrarily tore up a piece of Xerox paper that had this black. And I said, I'm going to make some animal out of it. Super rat. Recently discovered in England that there is a type of rat that does not respond to rat poison. And, and this, you know, a friend had just given me The Plague to Read by Albert Camus. Oh, and so, you know, so that's how that happens. It's 10. Well, it's top, you know, like Bo Derek. It's oh, perfect. That yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> this is Russian uh, for the initials of Pussy Riot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, I love. Uh, so there are women here. Yeah, so there are, well, we got women. Oh, fun. This I you, you, this is another fun piece, and and I was so happy. I discovered that paper bags had the signatures of the people who made them, and many many of them are Latino or Latina. Oh, I never noticed that. And but now recently I've looked at the bags. The names are gone. So what does that mean? This one I got off out of the inter off of the internet the next day after the assassination tiles. These are uh, discards. They're recycled from from a concrete sink company, and they were going to dis destroy them, throw them away. So that was good free material. And then I went and looked at Beowulf, the old English mm. poem, and uh, figured well. There's a connection here, you know, Beowulf was a Swede and he went to Denmark and killed the monsters and everything. So, there it is. Oh, my hope is that everyone finds their own reading and it does not have to be mine or my intention or um, it, it can be a curiosity or a focus on, on one element or bring to mind something for them, you know, that that, that would spark some direction it's not confining and I don't want everyone to feel they have to understand where I'm coming from on these so